Hi folks, this is Kim Adamski, HIV prevention specialist at the Hartford Gay and Lesbian Health Collective. By now, you've probably heard about the COVID-19 variants found around the world and now showing up in the United States. Let's talk a little bit about what it means. But first, we wanna make sure you know that if you're over 75, you're eligible to sign up for a COVID-19 vaccination appointment now. Please check the link in the description to find out more about that and to find more about Connecticut's vaccination plan. If you have questions or need help signing up to get a vaccine, you can comment below, DM us, or email me at kima at hglhc.org. You can also call us anytime at 860-278-4163. Okay, now let's take a closer look at what variant means. When a virus reproduces, sometimes tiny changes in its genetic material happen, which is called a mutation. Sometimes these mutations can help the virus get around the immune system more easily, even if a person has developed antibodies or been vaccinated. For example, the reason that we have to get a new flu shot every year is because the flu virus mutates, so it's able to sneak past last year's vaccine. NPR reports that the vaccines being distributed now are most likely effective against the new COVID-19 variant we're seeing, according to the data we have so far. That's good news. However, the more the virus spreads and reproduces, the greater the chance that it'll mutate into something that's able to thwart the existing vaccines, which will slow the progress we've made against the pandemic. Moderna is working on creating a booster vaccine for the new variant, which will make the immunity from the original vaccine even stronger against the variant. Other drug companies will likely do the same as well. It's important that we do our part to stop the spread though. Like I said, the more the virus is transmitted and reproduces, the more likely it is to mutate so that the vaccine can't protect against the new variants. To reduce the spread, everyone should continue to wear masks consistently and correctly, wash your hands regularly, and avoid close contact with others as much as possible. The better we do now preventing COVID transmission, the sooner we can start to go back to normal. So do your part and remember to be well and be yourself.